I need uh, something to cut with. So I've got a scalpel and some scissors. I need a pencil. I need some string or a lace, a shoelace. And I need some cardboard. So first thing I'm going to do is cut a small piece of cardboard. So I'm going to just use one of these flaps. The rest, so I'll tidy that away. Now I need to make holes down the long sides of my cardboard. So I need at least four holes. I think I'm going to do seven. One, two, three, seven. They need to be equally spaced on both sides or close enough to that. Now we need to make these into holes. So you can do this by puncturing through the cardboard with a pencil. It might be a good idea to put a rubber or a piece of blue tech behind to protect your fingers. And then back down the other side. Don't make them too close to the edge. You don't want it to the stronger the cardboard you use for this the easier okay now you need a length of string uh, sort of anything over about 50 centimeters is good if you want to make this easier you can tie a knot in the end of the piece of string but you don't need to I am going to make it easier for myself so now we have our board, what we're going to do is we've tied a knot in the end, one end of the string. You don't have to do that, but it does make it easier. And now we're going to try and complete a dexterity task. So dexterity is really important to astronauts because they have to do really fine and tricky work on the International Space Station. And so what they do is lots and lots of training to help them to get better at this. I am not an astronaut, so I don't have great dexterity, but I'm going to try and lace a pattern in this, and then I can see if I can get better at it and maybe faster at it as well. a bit of a cross pattern. So we've gone up diagonally on the one side and then we're gonna go back diagonally over the other. Okay, so it's much easier to do this with a lace than a piece of string because the laces obviously have the plastic bits around the end. So you don't have the same problem with the string fraying that I'm having. What you could do is put a piece of sellotape around the end of the string to stop it from fraying and then it would be like a shoelace. And there we go. Hooray. So I have followed a little pattern there. And what you can do is keep going, try it again and again, see if you can get faster, try different patterns and see if you can improve your dexterity.